was after he was balked by a, a Roosters trainer almost oh, running in front of him. Oh, Ricky. Is Ricky read it back. And the Roosters tried to make the tackle. Solly Ola has ended up somewhere in the Cook Islands, I think. He's somewhere in the Pacific. Well, it's good to see that plenty of concern from the Warriors players as well. What do you remember, first of all, about the game and, and, and the build-up to the, the second half getting underway? Yeah, well, um, I just remember that we led um, in the first half and we actually had a decent half. And I think um, leading up to that actual moment uh, when I blacked out, Ruben actually got me um, from a kick out prior to that. And um, he shocked me once. Um, he, he ran it straight. He, he pretty much done the exact same thing. And then they went on and went to score. And then there was that next kickoff set. Um, and then that's when the big moment happened. And I do remember Tony Ayoub, who was our, um, who was running the uh, orange shirt at the time, uh, the physio, and he just come up and he said, are you all right, are you all right? I'll say, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it flicked on to, I think, Eden Kirk scoring. I remember Marco Milioga at the time, actually. That was the next scene. We were at this bar and he pulls me over and he goes, if you want to be knocked out, that's the way to get knocked out. <laughs> yeah. When did you first see that back? When did you um, get to appreciate oh, just how ferocious that um, moment was? Mate, I saw it pretty much as we were walking to the airport um, at the downstairs of the hotel at the Crown Plaza. Um, and that was pretty much um, the highlight package throughout, the, <laughs> throughout that whole day, because that would have been um, one of their big promoting uh, factors for uh, leading up to their final series, I suppose. So, yeah, no, it was everywhere. <laughs> that was one of the, actually one of the first things I got asked um, when I come back to um, Australia and then everyone was asked. Um, I think the reporter at the time was like, oh, what do you remember? And I said, not much. <laughs> Can I ask you, this might sound a bit strange, but that moment, the fact that it is remembered by so many and while it wasn't a win, it's such a famous night for the Warriors, is it sort of a career highlight? Oh, for sure, for sure. For a memorable moment that I don't really remember much of. Um, so it's pretty ironic, but yeah, no, it definitely is for sure. Um, I've, I still, um, at the time, uh, you know, had nephews and, um, you know, cousins and relatives always like talking to me about it. I say, yeah, yeah, no, it was, um, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to them about it and run, run them through it. like how we speak about it and then, um, you know, even till this day, um, we had Ruben actually um, present a jersey to Josh Hodgson and um, our, our kit man, the Count, uh, we call him, and he done a, a highlight reel pa uh, package of, um, of Ruben when he was at the Raiders, obviously, because we um, acknowledge our past players and then they finished it off of, um, you know, so it's, it's, it's stuck with me for life, which is actually, you know, quite nice because, um, you know, Ruben's um, someone that I've always respected, someone I've always uh, looked up to, and I still to uh, I still do uh, to this day. And you know, we have a great relationship in that as well. And we we always have a laugh about it in that as well. So yeah, no, it's 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 a nice thing to be a part of, and I guess me and Ruben's connection as well. And if it was ever to happen again, if it could somehow be magic, and Ruben's come and run it, yeah. What do you, what, any advice for the next person who stands in front of you? <laughs> Run the other way, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs>